Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another haul. I was just about to say vlog. <laughs> Definitely not a vlog. Um, welcome back to another haul. I think I did a haul on my last video, or the video before. I know I've done one recently. But this haul is actually going to be a little bit of a collective haul. What's new in my wardrobe? A few of these pieces I have already worn on Instagram and I've had a couple messages from you guys. I did actually just want to film a Zara haul, but when I went in and looked online, I only found a couple of pieces. So I thought I would do like a what's new a collective haul with a few different bits from a few different brands I always love watching these um, videos these hauls because I actually don't shop from just one place I shop from so many different places it's very rare that I do like one big haul from one shop and um, because I'm so small and petite I can't shop loads from one place if that makes sense so yeah I do shop from a variety of different brands I'm not gonna lie it's not a very colourful haul most of the pieces are quite staple basic pieces which what's new that's all I seem to film I will be definitely filming more colourful hauls coming into spring and summer but I feel like especially in Manchester in the UK at the minute the sun is definitely out but there is a little bit of a chill still so a lot of these pieces are like cropped little jackets cargoes jeans and that kind of vibe so if you want to see what's new in my wardrobe then carry on watching so I'm going to start off with this cropped denim jacket from Zara. I actually have a little denim jacket on at the minute, which is a bit longer than cropped. Um, it comes up to like my waist and it's got like tassels on. This is from Bershka like two years ago. But this piece is kind of like a wash denim instead of like a dark one. I'm actually preferring this colour at the minute. I feel like the light wash denim and this like ribbed panel here is giving me very... I want to say 70s, I could be wrong but I think it's 70s and the way it kind of cuts off just underneath your boobs this piece is stunning on its own with nothing underneath so just either a button, one button done or no buttons done at all but you would definitely have to wear boob tape or I would anyway um, I don't know if I'd be brave enough to wear that so just like a little white bra that underneath would be really cute as well or like a little crop like this they actually do matching jeans to this which I'll try and link down below because I've seen so many girls in the matching set and it's stunning but because I'm petite obviously Zara jeans don't fit me and I just know that I'd end up wasting my money because I wouldn't go and get them took off the amount of jeans I've got in my wardrobe really too long for me because I said I would take them up and I never did honestly about 500 pounds worth I'm not joking with you so I did just go for the crop jacket which I think would look really nice with like little cohorts and um, little gym sets also just like joggers if you want more of a casual vibe or just the night out with a little dress um yeah really really cute cargoes goes with anything really denim I actually have seen an Adenola gym wear set that would look stunning with this it's like a little cycling short cream cohort set which would look stunning underneath this I've not actually wore it yet still got the tags on it's 29.99 and I actually got this in a size large I would definitely size up in this if you want an oversized fit Um, obviously I'll do a try and clip so you can see what it's like on me I got a size large but I do have quite bigger boobs and my upper arms are probably the biggest part of my body so yeah just bear that in mind I'm just gonna stick with Zara because that's what I started with so I picked this jacket up it was $89.99 which I'm not gonna lie I'm not sure if it's worth that much money but the jacket itself is something that you would have in your wardrobe forever and it will never go out of fashion so in that case I guess it is worth that much but I feel like I already own something like this so I'm not too sure if to keep it yet so I got it in a size small and it is super super oversized which I like the oversized fit I'm not too sure if I like the length of it on me because like I said I'm tiny so this is I'm gonna just step out and show you it's kind of like a I want to say a really light khaki olive I think online it's classed as mink I could be completely wrong obviously I'll link everything down below it's really lightweight and flowy so it does sit nice on the body it's not too padded or anything like that so it does fall really nice it's nice for spring summer because it's not too heavy and obviously it's that color and style that will go with pretty much everything and um, it's got silver hardware and the bottom is kind of ruched can you see here and then the sleeves are kind of rouge. Really, really nice piece. I've tried it on so many times with so many different outfits. That's the good thing about it. It does go with so many things, but I think it's just a little bit too long for me. Moving on to jeans, I've just realised that I actually only buy my jeans from a brand called Weekday. If you haven't shopped from Weekday before, it's actually, I'm sure, 
based in Stockholm, I think it's a Swedish brand. The fit of these jeans are beautiful. You can actually choose your leg length and waist on most of the style jeans, that's why I go for them because obviously I'm such a short leg, I can't get away with wearing every brand jeans. I've been on the hunt for a pair of vintage Levi jeans that aren't going to cost me an arm and leg and fit me perfectly. Most of these are vintage like boutiques and shops online or on Instagram pages, you can't send back once you've got them so that's why I've not bought a pair. I've been in every single vintage shop in Manchester you can think of and I just can't find a pair that fit me right. So I thought, do you know what, I'm just going to stick to weekday because I know they fit me like a dream and I know that they've got some more styles out so I thought I would buy them instead. So I'm going to start off with this pair. Um, this one is called the rail jean. It's like a mid-rise loose jean. I wanted that really loose kind of straight leg. Um, a straight leg on me can come up quite baggy. A baggy jean on me can come up too baggy if that makes sense. So I always kind of stick to like a straight leg but a loose straight leg. Bear in mind that I did buy these a size bigger so that they fall a bit looser around the waist. I wanted that really vintage look with these. I think I might distress them as well myself because they don't really do like distressed jeans. They're just quite basic. So I might add rips and like fray them a little bit at the end myself I'm not too sure yet also bear in mind that I did only buy these for night out looks so um just with heels so that's what I'm going to style them with in the try and clip so you can see how they fall so literally just they look really blue in this camera but they're not as blue in person they're just literally playing all the way down I got them in a size 29 waist and a 32 leg I'm probably like a 27 28 waist and like a 30 leg but I like them to be a little bit longer and oversized so I've got two pairs of cargoes to show you next which I am obsessed with the fit and everything I feel like a lot of brands are doing cargoes but they're doing cargoes wrong I feel like they can look really cheap um that's just my opinion when it comes to cargoes I want something that looks military like I want something that looks like a pair of cargo pants if that makes sense i picked up two pairs from a brand called i want to say branded fashion now i know a lot of girls on tiktok have posted about this i think there's one called military first they're actually military websites i think so not just your fast fashion websites um so they are really really good quality there are they are around 30 to 50 pound depending on the style you go for um the only thing is the sizing's a bit off and I don't think you can, I think you can return, but it might charge you to return because I think it's like Germany or whatever they're, they're coming from. So I kind of just took a risk with these and they fit perfectly. Um, maybe the tiniest bit big, but you can kind of get away with that with cargoes. Yeah, the brand is called Brandit. What I had to do with both of these is pop my email address in for them to contact me um, and make me aware of when new stock was in because they literally got stock like that in all the small sizes. So for this first pair is this khaki pair. Obviously you'll be able to see on the try and clip better. You've got a pocket here with a little loose kind of strap thing um, and they're just like quite basic all the way down. These are actually low rise and the other ones that I'm going to show you now are high rise I would say. Um, they just kind of cover my belly button or maybe just on my belly button. These actually have a drawstring for your waist which I love because it gives that really cinched in waist and then like a baggy look on the trousers. Um, so yeah these I just got in black. These are in a camo print but they weren't in stock so I just went for black and I guess black goes with any everything anyway. So you're not going to be able to see on camera, um, you'll see on the try and clip better. But these have two pockets and then they have this little military detail thing here as well. I've got three pieces left to show you. The next piece I've actually already worn on my Instagram and i got a few girls messaging me to help them with their size because it's cropped but it's really, really padded. Um, it's a love-hate relationship with this because absolutely love the piece but it's so hard to style because of the colour I find and because it's really quite bulky it's this gorgeous manier de bois faux leather it's vegan leather but really good quality cropped kind of puffer jacket on the sleeves you've got kind of like this pleated pattern on the waist it cinches you in really nicely and yeah it's got silver hardware it's just a stunning stunning really high quality faux leather finish off this haul, I'm going to show you two little crops. One's like a crop jumper and one is just a normal long sleeve crop top. I'm definitely more of a long sleeve kind of girl. 
just always have been. Um, the first piece is actually from Weekday, which I should have really shown you with the jeans, but oh well. Um, so this is like a cropped jumper. It's, I don't think you can see the quality and the texture of this. It's really thick ribbed, but it feels suede. Honestly, it's not suede, but it feels like suede. It's that soft. Um, it's a nice dark chocolate brown and it's cropped. And as you can see on the cropped bit, it is a little bit distressed and also the sleeves as well you've got a little bit of distress in i just figured i needed a few more long sleeve little like crop jumpers or crop t-shirts or stuff like that really to throw on when it's a little bit too warm to wear a jacket but it's too cold to like have your full arms and belly out i think this would look really cute over jeans um like a little gym set um joggers whatever it's really really good quality and super thick and lastly I picked up this little black crop it's a little bit longer than a crop so it just hits on your belly button which is nice sometimes if you don't want your full belly out and um, it's just a plain black long sleeve cropped I really love the neckline it doesn't come up too high neck but it comes up just enough for it to look quite smart if that makes sense I think a black high neck or like turtleneck top can look really smart um, if you're not showing like any of your chest but the long sleeves have a cut out on like this bit of the arm I think it just adds a little something to the crop instead of just it being all black so I just thought this would look really cute paired with my cargoes for example um, on a night out or just with trainers so that was actually everything for this haul I really hope you enjoyed the pieces like I said it's just a few random bits that I've collected over the past couple months um, I will link everything down below if it's in stock. For example, the cargoes, I know that they're not in stock, but if you just pop your email in, they will email you when they are in stock. I've done that for another pair as well, because there's a pair that are always out of stock, which they look like the best fitting ones, and I've not managed to get hold of them yet. So, yes, I will link everything down below for you. And I promise you, moving into spring and summer, I will be filming with a lot more brighter colours, because they're so in at the minute. I'm not going to lie, though, with my hair colour, I can clash with bright colours. So, that's why I don't really buy much, because I think it clashes with me a little bit. But I am hoping to go away this year, so I do want to get some brighter colours, because I can't live in khaki, black and cream for the rest of my life. I think denim is the only bit of colour I have in my wardrobe at the minute. If you made it to the end of the video and you enjoyed and you liked the pieces that I've shown you, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!